Yes, I do. We'll dye the pure white fabric and make it into the shape of kimono. Today, I came to kimono factory. He is kimono master, Mr. Yokota. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I heard that you made kimonos here. What kind of kimonos do you make? We mainly make furisode for girls to wear and coming of age ceremonies. What a beautiful this is. Do you make something like this? Yes, I do. We'll dye the pure white fabric and make it into the shape of kimono. This is my work. How many processes are involved in making this? There are about 20 processes. There is a craftsman in each process, and it is dyed with the special technique. By the way, how much would you charge for a finished product? This is a kimono for the coming of age ceremonies, and I think it's probably about 500,000 yen for a set. Wow, it's expensive. Do you have a workshop nearby? It's next door. Let's go and see it. There are many frames out here. What are these? These are molds used when dyeing the public. Among Kyo Yuzen, it is a technique called the Kata Yuzen. We use these molds of the many patterns. Since one pattern is dyed in one frame, about 300 molds are required to make a furisode. Then, paint the first layer like this. Let it dry. Yes, let it dry and dye it with the next mold. Are these all dyes? Yes, these are colored glue used for the use and dyeing. Colored glue? It's your first time to hear that. How many colors do you have? I've never counted, so I don't know exactly, but I think they are probably close to the 2,000 colors. Here is the material used for the colored glue. It's a paste like this. Can I touch it? Sure. It's really runny. Young children may find it delicious and eat it, but this is not food. It's not food, but it's not like you can't eat it. In fact, we create colors by combining the disc glue with dyes. The ones he made are lined up over there. Oh, I see. Do you have a particular dye combination? Not at all. I'm not particularly good at making blue. There is a proverb that you serve out of indigo. Is blue difficult to make? Yeah, it's a little difficult. This is a place called Itaba to dye using the mold you saw earlier. The fabric is pasted on both sides of the board rotated and aligns the mold with the mark and dye it in layers. It looks easy, but the thickness of dye must be uniform and the streak must be avoided. This work requires a high level of skills. So, you flip it over like this? Yes. He flipped it over rather easily. It looks light, but it's actually quite heavy. Now, lift it up and let it dry. He'll take down the next board. Shall I help you? No, no, you don't have to. I have heavy work on the second floor. We came upstairs. Yes, this is a prototype, so you can touch it. I also go to the gym twice a week for a workout. So I think I can lift even if the boat is heavy. Could you show me how you do it? Sure. First, turn the middle of the board like this. Then, lift the top part of the board, then the back part. Be careful not to touch other boards while lifting. Oh, 
hold this side of the ball. Stand this up, lift the toe up, hold the bottom, and lift it up. You did a good job. No, no, I was disappeared. It's the first time I've seen someone lift it up for the first time. It was quite heavy, and the craftsman do it as a work after painting. This process is repeated over 100 times a day. Wow, really? Thank you for your watching. Click here for the next recommended video. Please subscribe our channel.